If you're looking to start game development, you first need to pick a game engine. It's not really a big deal, but it might seem like one at the start. But let me help you get an answer to this quickly and easily. Basically, it's going to come down to your situation. The answer is going to be different for everyone, and some of the things that you should consider are why are you making games? Do you want to get a job in the industry, or do you just want to be an indie dev? Do you already have programming experience? And what sort of game do you want to build? And there's another factor you're going to need to consider, and that is resources. You'll need materials such as tutorials, forums, support, etc. Now, larger user bases will mean that there's more resources available. Smaller, more niche game engines will have less support and less tutorials should you get stuck or shit hits the fan. So let's go through the game engines and I'll point out some factors about each and what sort of person would benefit using each game engine. Unreal. Unreal uses C++, which is the AAA standard. If you're brand new to coding, C++ will be quite difficult to pick up. And if you want to get a job at a AAA company, Unreal and in particular C++ are really going to help you. But it also features blueprints, which is like a, a node-like scripting feature, it's basically drag and drop. It means that you can drag and drop different instructions as opposed to writing code. Unreal is primarily used for 3D games. It can be used for 2D, but just given the features, using it for 2D might be a bit overkill. Now there's absolutely tons of resources on YouTube, forums, Reddit, Twitter, everywhere for Unreal, so you'll never be lost for help. And even if you want to learn C++ and Unreal, but you're a total beginner, you don't necessarily need to start here. If you continue on with the video, I will elaborate on this one. Unity. Unity doesn't use C++, it uses C Sharp, which is a totally different language. It's much more forgiving to pick up C Sharp as opposed to C++, from my own experience. C Sharp is also used in AAA, but C++ is going to look much more impressive on your CV if you're looking to get into the gaming industry. More and more AAA and AA studios are using Unity these days. It's had a shaky last couple of years and you might have seen it in the news or on YouTube videos. There's been questionable decisions made by the business, but they seem to be sorting that out, they seem to be rearranging their priorities. They've already had tons of developers ditch them and their stock prices have plummeted, but they're still here. There's still tons of resources out there for learning Unity and it's very well equip equipped for building 2D and 3D games, so if you're not sure what game you want to build, you should probably consider Unity. It's also got its own version of blueprints for visual scripting, so you don't necessarily need to learn C Sharp. However, if you want to learn C Sharp, it's much more forgiving to learn, like I said, as opposed to C++. It's used by millions of developers across a bunch of different softwares, since C Sharp is used by Microsoft and the Microsoft technologies, so you're not only going to have access to resources for Unity and game development when it comes to C Sharp, you'll also have access to general software development and Microsoft technology resources. Godot. With Godot, you can use either C Sharp, C++, or Godot's own language, GDScript. It's open source, so if that's something that you're into, that might be pretty important, and it might be a major plus. Now, it supports both 2D and 3D game development, but it is better suited to 2D. It's not used as much in the AA or definitely not in the AAA games industry, so if you're looking to add skills to your CV, you're probably going to be better with Unity or in particular Unreal. Now there's not as many tutorials for resources as you'll find for Unity or Unreal, since the community is significantly smaller, but it's definitely growing and there is tons of help out there. It's got a lot less feature bloat compared to Unity, so if you're making more smaller scale games, you might have a little bit more pace if you know exactly what you're doing. Game Maker. Now like other engines, you can make 2D and 3D in Game Maker. Game Maker's probably a bit better suited for beginners rather than those with programming experience, mainly because it uses its own language called GML. Game Maker also comes with visual scripting through drag and drop code, pretty similar to Nodes, and this is very useful if you're learning to code for the first time, or you've got no interest in learning how to code and you just want to make games. Now, there's programs out there that let you use the Game Maker drag and drop, then convert it into GML code, and that's actually how I learned to code games a way back 10 years ago. It's better suited for 2D games, but you still can make 3D games. But if you're determined to do 3D, I definitely suggest you look at Unity or Unreal. Again, it's not going to do much to get you a job in the industry if you're putting Game Maker down on your CV. RPG Maker. This is ideal for beginners if you're into developing traditional RPGs and you purely want to create one of those. If you want to create a traditional RPG and you don't care about game development or learning how to code, then RPG Maker is definitely an engine that you should consider. 
but if you're new to game development and you think you'd want to branch out, then I'd maybe consider Game Maker actually. With RPG Maker, you build traditional RPGs using drag and drop scripting with JavaScript. It does cost, but you can get a 30 day free trial, and it's very easy to get started with zero experience, but you will be limited with what you can create, construct. Now here's a personal caveat, I've never used construct, so I'm going to have a lot less to say here, but from what I can see, it uses drag and drop scripting with JavaScript and it primarily supports 2D, so to use Construct 3, you'll either need to pay $17 per month or $143 per year. Now there seems to be a decent amount of resources on the Construct website, but some are like 7 plus years old. Like I said, I haven't used Construct, so I'm not sure how much has changed in the last 7 years and if these resources are actually still valid. From my experience in the games industry, I've never heard of a studio looking for someone with constructing experience. In fact, I've barely heard of it in the industry. I've only ever really heard of it on Steam or on different YouTube videos when there's been a sponsor. So once again, if you're looking to get into the industry, I would consider looking elsewhere. How about creating your own engine? Now there's an easy way to answer this one. Do you want to actually make and ship games? Or do you want to learn about game development? If you actually want to make and ship games and get people playing them, then please just use a game engine. Otherwise, it's a bit like learning how to ride a bike while the bike is on a tightrope. If you want a job in the industry though, learn how to make an engine will teach you some really low level C++ knowledge, which will benefit you and it will make you look great to employers. So that's the really simple way of answering whether or not you should make your own engine. Although if there's a very specific niche of game that no game engine will let you create easily, then yeah, like go mad and make an engine, but I, I can't even think of an example that would merit that. So the easy way to answer this one is, does your passion lie in making games, or does it lie in the very low level stuff such as graphics rendering and shit like that? So now what engine to pick? So let's go over it. Do you want a job in the industry? If you do, then use Unity or Unreal. If you just want to make games, then any of them will do. Do you have any programming experience? If you do, then Unity, Unreal or Godot will take advantage of that. If you have none but you want to learn, then Game Maker is ideal for picking up that knowledge in a very beginner friendly way. But Unity uses C Sharp, which is an endless amount of resources out there for learning. What type of game do you want to build? Unreal is great for 3D, Unity is excellent for 3D and 2D, Godot is very lightweight and open source and also great for 2D. Game Maker is a very good beginner friendly option for 2D. RPG Maker is an option for those who want to make a traditional RPG and they don't care about learning how to code, and how many resources are out there for your engine. I'm going to say that Unity has the most because you'll have Unity resources and Microsoft C-sharp guides, followed by Unreal and C++. The other options all have much smaller communities and thus less resources. So the truth is guys, there's no wrong option here. My own path was through Game Maker Drag and Drop. I made a few games with that, then I downloaded a tool that let me convert the drag and drop into script. Then I, I kind of reverse engineered it and learnt how to script that way. Then I just picked up Unity, started learning C Sharp, but I already had the sort of programming logic understanding in my mind from using the Game Maker language. So picking up C Sharp was a little bit more forgiving there. Then I started building games exclusively through Unity that way. But you know, we're all different. I tried opening up Godot when Unity was kind of in the shits for some of the decisions that they made. And in truth, like, it wasn't for me. It was far too different from what I had got used to with Unity because I had been using Unity for about 10 years at that point and I couldn't be arsed learning how to use the new interface and come up with a new workflow when basically all I wanted to do was make games. So just take all of this into consideration. Listen to your gut a little bit as well. And if your first pick isn't working out, you can always download another engine and try that out as well. So I hope that's helped. I appreciate you watching, guys. I'll see you next time.